What's going on guys, it's New603 from Shusty Bang, and we are back with Loadout. And sorry it took a little while to get back to this, but Metro Last Light came out, and I dived head first into that, if that makes any sense, because I've just been really looking forward to playing that game for months now. But, Loadout. So one of the things I want to do with this game is just like any other game we always cover for the first time. I want to go over the basics of getting into it for those that have you know haven't played it yet, or are just about to, or just started. To give you a shortcut to figure out, okay, what do you do when you first start out? How do I go about creating all my classes and stuff and creating my own gun? So I take the guessing work out of it for you. That's what I really like doing because there's not enough of these videos out there, in my opinion. Like every new game I go into, I look for something like this, it's just not there. So without further ado, let's go into the weapon crafting. So say we'll create new, and I'm going to name this the demo weapon. Demo. Okay. Pretty straightforward, so you got your weapon, you can change what kind of, well we'll say, ammo it's going to shoot. You can shoot, um, you can choose either for it to be a beam, pulse, a launcher, or rifle. So it shoots traditional bullets or launcher, which is, you know, RPG type gun. Pulse is kind of weird, it, you basically shoot like, um, mines? Like mine balls? <laughs> it's kind of weird, man. And then beam, you know, it's kind of like the Tesla gun where you shoot like, a continued stream of electricity things like that so in this case we're gonna go rifle we're gonna keep it pretty straightforward close that now next up stock you can change what you want it to do and there is tier one and tier two tier two obviously does things better you need to upgrade it which i can do because i have three upgrade points very simple and straightforward it tells you what you can upgrade to if you'd like so in this case i'm gonna choose dampening even though i paid 199 gold for it but if I wanted to, I didn't want to spend any money, I keep it shock absorbing. So I have dampening selected. You can see everything zeroed out because that's what I have. If you highlight over anything else, it will show you. See, strength is the same, rate of fire, nothing changes. But reload in the red, which means the reload is worse than what you currently have. So this is what's really nice about the game. Not only does it give you a description of what each attachment does, but it shows you how it stacks up stat-wise compared to what you currently have equipped which is awesome. So in this case, I'm going to keep dampening. Um, this is one of the guns I've kind of already made anyway, so I'm happy with that. Next up, your sights. This is actually pretty straightforward. There's an iron sight, uh, iron sight which doesn't give you any zoom whatsoever. And there's a recon scope, which is a 1.5 zoom. Optical zoom is a 3x. And then the long range finder, which is a 5x zoom. Now when you get to tier 2, you can get improved iron sights or improved recon, things like that. Uh, and again, same thing. So I've already got the iron sight selected and everything's baseline because that's what I have. But if I go elsewhere, you know, aim accuracy is plus 4.71. So ideally that would be just a little bit better if I wanted to zoom. You guys know me, I'm not really that fond of zoom scopes such as that. Okay, so next up, barrel. Now, this is where it kind of gets tricky. So say you go with the standard assault. It's for rifles with a medium rate of fire, most effective at medium range. Then you can do things like Gatling, and you can see the rate of fire is much higher, but you pay a lot on other things. Uh, hip fire accuracy you really lose out on, range you lose out on quite a bit, aim accuracy, which I believe they mean by uh, hip fire accuracy, and the stability. But <laughs> it looks pretty badass when you think about it. Scatter, you get things like this. Scatter shots in a wide arc with short to medium range effect offers very high damage at close ranges. That's pretty sweet. So that compared to the assault... Yeah, you get a lot more strength out of it, but everything else punishes you. You get punished on it for it. It's um, not as stable all around. Sniper, you know, it's the same thing. It's actually very straightforward. So what you need to do is kind of recognize up front, well, what kind of a gamer am I? And then from there, pick what best suits your particular play style. And once you get in there, you can test it out, see how it is and everything. Trigger. Pretty straightforward. You can either go full auto or semi auto or spooling, which is hold on the trigger to spin up the fire mechanism, and you keep holding to shoot an extremely high rate of fire. Think of like a mini gun, you know, where it's got to kind of spool up to get the speed, and then it just lays down a barrage of bullets until you run out. That's you know essentially what it does. And you get two round burst or three round burst. And then again, there's always the tier two, so you can get improved of everything. Next up, magazine. Again, it's all pretty straightforward, but just going to show you what you can change. So you got your standard, which is a 50 round in this case, because I'm using the assault, uh, just bullets, not like um, the pulse or the RPG or anything like that. Uh, sorry, the beam. You go high capacity, which is 
good because you get a bigger clip size, but the reload's a little higher and the strength isn't as good, which I find that a little strange. Uh, shell loading, um, kind of weird. A bolt action, you can do whatever you want. It, it's pretty nice. Again, you, all very, very straightforward. And then last but not least, you can choose what your payload, basically what kind of ammo you want, uh, what you can shoot. Now, this is kind of cool. You can either go lethal, so in this case, slug, which is pretty beastly. It's basic kinetic damage, causes direct damage to enemies. Or you go Tesla, which shoots, uh, you know, again, it's just the electrical, um, like, arc that you constantly shoot. You can go Pyro and shoot fire. Now, this is where it gets different. You can go one of two ways. Again, you can go where you're attacking people and doing damage, or you can be a support player and you can shoot health, which is pretty sweet. You can actually shoot health, which actually, it, it kind of shoots, like, needles and syringes into your... Um, teammates when you're shooting at them and it's kind of funny they stick to them until they get up to 100% health and then they all fall off or you can go with juice and you use you can use this to buff yourself or teammates granting them extra strength and speed with some objective modes that could actually be really really good if you're running with a full we'll call it squad but or a group of four because at the moment it's only 4v4 and I'm assuming that's going to be the way it is when the game actually comes out if you have one guy doing this while you're playing an objective game mode just juicing the hell out of everyone, you can run a lot faster and get to everything quicker than the other team, get in position, like, it it could actually be really, really good. Uh, kind of think of it as playing, like, this, uh, a support player, um, an actual, like, support class or the assault class in Battlefield 3. You're not really focused on getting kills so much as you are focused on supporting your teammate. That's what these two are good for. So it's, you know, you got something like that. It's pretty cool. Now, here's the kicker. You can test it. I don't know if you saw me, but bottom right corner. And then from there, now these guys will always stay. And you can see what kind of damage you're dealing out to the body. You go for the headshot, which you can see is a little bit better. And then they're back. So <laughs> you can see you can shoot off his legs and stuff. And that's it. So from here, you hit escape and you go back. And if you want, you can build it. And it'll tell you your, what your purchase total is, how much current space bucks you have, your remaining balance so on and so forth and if you want you can buy more pretty straightforward and that's it now once you've created it you go to your loadouts and are you sure you want to leave without building your changes yes because i don't really want that gun at the moment it was there specifically for showing you guys how to do it so you can see i have two loadouts so i'm gonna go in my shoosty loadout and i can pick my spoopy gun or my regular or my shoosting or my shoosty gun or my grenade launcher assault rifle so on and so forth as my primary i can set my secondary i actually like the grenade launcher that comes uh well standard or stock if you will that gives you right up front that thing's pretty beastly and then you can either pick up um health which is nice you can throw down two health packs at a time before you're empty or you can throw grenades, and then there are other things that you can unlock as well. There's actually a ton of stuff that you can unlock, just to give you an idea. And I actually, I haven't even looked at any of these. Um, oh, they're not going to give me a description, but there's jump boots, faux health pack, which is kind of cool. <laughs> the secret to trolling is. Uh, your turret buddy, Tesla grenade, equipment pickup, shield, faux equipment pickup, healing grenade, spawn point, fire grenade, disguise. That's pretty cool. Or buff grenade. So it's... The number of options you have in this game as far as customizing, which is pretty much what the whole thing is based upon or hinged on, is the customization of the weapons and your loadout and everything. As far as other things you can change, if you go to the outfitter and we're going to customize. Dude, there is a... I, I know I already covered this kind of in the first video, but it's insane how much stuff you can change. Granted, you're going to spend a lot of money if you choose to, but... I mean, there's tons of options for hat and hair, facial hair, facial ma or yeah, face mask, glasses. It's just, it's all about customization with this. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what else you guys want me to cover. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to cover next, but I have some ideas. Just not sure which one I'm going to pick. So, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, share it with your friends if you could. Uh, if, you know, someone that might be interested in this game... Direct them to this video. This will certainly help them, I at least hope, get them a head start into getting into the game. Like, okay, I know exactly what to do. I can just go ahead and create my weapon and then jump right in. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see. And I'll catch you guys later.